I'm the uh, public defender, Kenny. Oh? Uh, you defending my old man? I've kind of been thinking about it. Think I should? Mm, sure. He's not a bad guy. Even in spite of the beating he gave you? I wasn't so bad. I can take it. I'm sure you can. I only wish I was as sure about something else. What? That you really wanted to help your father. Well, what can I do to help him? You could tell me what went wrong between you two. I, I don't know what to say. Well, things haven't always been bad between you and your father, have they, Kenny? No. Things weren't bad at all. Everything was wonderful and until the day my mother and father and I went up to the mountains. We couldn't help it, could we, Dad? The boat just turned over. Oh, it's the wind. It was that sudden gust of wind. Dad, do you think she'll die? God help us, I hope not. Dad, you can't let her die. You mustn't. Doing the best I can. Can we get someone to help? Nobody. Nobody for miles. Dad, you can't let her die. You can't die. Please don't die. Please. I don't think I can finish this, Mr. Matthews. You don't have to finish it, Kenny. you mean? I mean, how did you and your father get along? Okay. Just okay? I guess you could say we were good pals. We used to go on long hikes and bat a ball around, stuff like that. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great while well, it lasted. What happened to Ender? She had to come around, stick her nose into everything. She, your new mother? She's not my mother. I hate her. I've hated her since the day Dad told me about her. Hey, I got it, I got it. You got what? Just stay there. Don't come any closer. Wait till you see this thing curve. All right, burn it across the plate. Did you see it? Did you see that thing curve? If I'd been swinging at that, I'd have dislocated my back. <laughs> what have you been doing all day? Ah, uh, same old thing. Went over to the gym after school and took a little workout. Man. I better look out. You're gonna knock me cold one of these days. <laughs> Not me, Dad. I'd never hurt you. You couldn't even if you tried. Sit down. You know the camping trip we were gonna... Would you be too disappointed if we put it off for a couple of months? A couple of months? Yeah. Well, it'll be too cold then. What's the matter, Dad? Anything go wrong? Oh, no, no. Don't get so upset. No, uh... I met somebody. Who? A girl. Her name's Ellen. She came to work at the plant about a month ago. Are you going to like Ellen? Sure, Dad, if you say so. But, but what's that got to do with our camping trip? Well, I figure... I figure in about a month... Ellen and me are going to get married. What? Married? No, Dad, you can't. Why not? <laughs> because of Mom. Well, even if I didn't love Ellen... I think I'd marry her anyway on account of you. Me? Yeah, you think I like the way you're growing up, like a, a wild weed, yeah. nobody to look at? I you? get along all right. Uh, I know how you feel about your mom, kid. But she's not here anymore. Dad, you just can't get married. You just can't. Uh, a couple of roughnecks like us. We need a lady around the house. You're all I need, Dad. I don't need anyone else. Uh, yes, you do. You wait till you meet Ellen. Why, she's a swell gal. D does she like chemistry? Well, I don't know. I never ask her. Mom gave me that chemistry set on my last birthday before she... She said I'd make a swell chemist. If I know anything about Ellen, she'll like chemistry. Hey, come on, come on, kid. Let's go tackle those franks and beans, huh? Well, how did it turn out? Did she like chemistry? She pretended to for a while, but she didn't fool me. I knew she was just putting it on, the way she was always putting on everything else to make Dad and me forget about Mom.
Hi, Kenny. Hi. What you doing? Nothing. What's that stuff you're fooling around with? I'm not fooling with. I think I recognize the odor. What is it? Nothing. If you don't like it, you don't have to stay around and sniff it. But, Kenny, I'm interested. What is it? It's a kind of acid. Acid? Isn't that kind of dangerous? Depends on who's using it. It isn't inflammable, is it? Don't worry, I'm not going to set fire to anything. Maybe you shouldn't be handling anything like that, Kenny. Dad said you knew something about chemistry, but you don't know anything at all. Get away from there. That stuff will burn a hole right through you. Kenny, look what you've done. It was an accident. You got me all mixed up by coming in here. You must get rid of this set. It's dangerous. I told you so. So that's what you want, isn't it? I don't want anything. It's... I'm just afraid you might hurt yourself or burn down the house. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like it if this house burned down. Then Dad would have to move somewhere else and forget all about Mom. Oh, no, Kenny. I love this house. I know a fine woman lived here before me. Kenny, I hope I can take your mother's place. You'll never take my mother's place. All you're trying to do is come between me and Dad. You're not fooling me for a minute. At once to see his father to try and break through to the real cause of the trouble. Well, sure, it was tough on the kid, but it was tough on Ellen, too. Every way she turned, Kenny put up a stone wall in front of her. Yes, I know. Did you do anything about the chemistry set? Did she tell you about that? Well, after Ellen told me how he almost blew himself up and burned that hole in the rug, I threw the set out. I'm not sure, Mr. Higgins, that that was the right thing to do. Maybe it wasn't, because it was right after that that the real trouble began. What trouble? Well, nothing, just more of the same. Look, Mr. Higgins, I'm your attorney. If I'm going to be any use to you, I've got to know the whole truth. Now, do I get it or don't I? All right, what do you want to know? The reason you beat your son. What had he done? Well, maybe throwing that set out was a mistake. Because that night, everything seemed to go wrong. What are you doing, Dad? That's my chemistry set. Yeah, I know. Well, where are you going? What are you going to do with it? I'm going to throw it out. I heard what happened today. But that was an accident. I'll be more careful next time, I promise. Uh-huh. And who'll pay for the house when you burn it to the ground? Dad, please. You can't just throw it out. You can't just throw it out like that. I'm not going to burn anything. Kenny's right, Jim. Why now, wait you... a minute. Suppose I decide who's right and who's wrong around here for a change. It's all your fault. You had to go and tell him. All you've done is made trouble ever since you've been around That's here. That's enough, Kenny. Why don't you leave us alone? We don't need you around here. Why don't you get out? Up to your room. Go on, get up to your room. I never want to hear you talk like that again. Now, go on, get up to your room. Jimmy hasn't had his dinner yet. Don't be too hard on him, Jim. Well, I've got to do something. That kid's getting out of hand. He's going to learn to treat you with some respect. Now he's taking your side, just the way you wanted it. Kenny! It's all wrong, Jim. He's just a child. He needs all the love we can give him, not hate. I don't hate him. It's time he started acting like a man instead of a spoiled little brat.